In material science, resilience is the ability of a material to absorb energy when it is deformed elastically, and release that energy upon unloading. Proof resilience is defined as the maximum energy that can be absorbed up to the elastic limit, without creating a permanent distortion. The modulus of resilience is defined as the maximum energy that can be absorbed per unit volume without creating a permanent distortion. It can be calculated by integrating the stress-strain curve from zero to the elastic limit. In uniaxial tension, under the assumptions of linear elasticity, U R equals sigma y two two E equals sigma y e y two display style u underscore r equals frac sigma underscore y carrot two two e equals frac sigma underscore y asterisk epsilon underscore y two where your is the modulus of resilience sigma y is the yield strength epsilon y is the yield strain and e is the young's modulus this analysis is not valid for nonlinear elastic materials like rubber, for which the approach of area under the curve till elastic limit must be used. <laughs> Unit of resilience Resilience is measured in a unit of joule per cubic meter in the SI system, i.e. elastical deformation energy per surface of test specimen merely for gauge length part. Like the unit of tensile toughness the unit of resilience can be easily calculated by using area underneath the stress strain curve, which gives resilience value, as given below. Your topic area underneath the stress strain sigma epsilon curve up to yield sigma times epsilon your equals par times percent equals nm minus 2 unitless your equals nmm minus 3 your equals jm minus 3 Topic. See also Toughness <laughs>